Hey there. So on today's walk and talk, I want to talk about steps. We take steps all the time and steps are what help us to get to our destination. So in terms of illustration, we take steps to create an image or come up with an idea and those steps become our process. So in today's video, I'd like to share a little bit of my water watercolor process with you. And uh, we're going to be working, looking at this painting right here. Um, and then also too, I want to have a little walk and talk about how we're starting to think about our process and discovering our visual voice. At the end of the video, I've got a book review for you. So let's have a little walk. Let's have a talk. So there's a really great Ethan Hawke TED Talk, and he's got a, a quote that I like from there, which is, there is no path until you walk it. And I like this quote for a number of reasons, but one of which is that inherent in that quote is this idea of the ambiguity of walking the path, as well as the sort of uh, act of creation that goes along with it. And as artists, we work on creating things all the time. So as we walk our path, we're actually creating our path. So with regards to creating images for illustration, I would say that part of it is that we want to have a consistent path to take to create that work. And the reason we want to have a consistent path is so that we can develop consistent work. And this is sort of the first reason to slow down and think about our process. When we think about a process, we want to think about how we're making the steps, why we're making the steps, what steps we're making, etc. So that's the first reason we want to slow down and think about our illustration process is that it can help to lead us to a consistent destination, part of our goal. Um, the second reason is a little bit more sort of inherent in that it will help you to develop your visual voice because how and why and what choices you're making um, during the illustration process are distinctive to you. And so the way that you go about making up project is different from somebody else who me maybe who knows anybody making a project So sometimes when people think about that unique quality, they have a word for it, which I personally dislike, and that word is style. Um, I find that word to be greasy and sort of ambiguous and doesn't really say anything. I feel like if we focus on visual voice, that we're doing ourselves a better service because we want to be able to say something with our work. The work itself is a vessel. We're creating that vessel to carry a message and we're communicating with that uh, work that we're doing. So there's a lot of ways we can go about slowing down and discovering the steps that we're taking for our process. Um, one of those things is to start to think about our artistic inspirations. Who are the artists that you're looking at? What kind of stuff thrills you? Why do you like those things? And then learning to incorporate that into your own work. Uh, I'll have more videos on that in the future, uh, but for now, just recognize that we can slow down and think about each one of these steps. The other thing about steps, or I should say another thing about steps, is that by slowing down and isolating the steps that we're taking, whether those are in drawing or values or color or whatever it might be, that you're actually giving yourself an opportunity to focus on one of the myriad of elements that go into making an illustration and then honing in on that and starting to develop it a little bit more and a little bit more. If we look at the whole mountain of problems that you have to solve to make an illustration, it can be totally overwhelming and daunting. So by slowing down and taking a look at each step that you're taking in your process, it gives you an opportunity to also refine those steps as well. So that's what I wanted to say for today. I'm gonna to kick it over here to book time in a second. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, please tell a friend.
Thanks. So the book I'd like to share with you today is called A Velocity of Being, Letters to a Young Reader, edited by Maria Popova and Claudia Bedrick. I originally found out about this book on Maria Popova's blog, which is called A Marginalian. Uh, I highly recommend checking it out. It's just uh, full of insight and inspiration, and um, it's very, very thoughtful. I highly recommend it. The book itself, the sort of the premise of the book is basically we have these pairings of people uh, and they're writing letters to, you know, young readers. <laughs> and so the, the people themselves are pretty diverse and wonderful. Uh, you know, here we've got Jane Goodall. We've got David Byrne from The Talking Heads, Jad Abumrad. Uh, and then on the illustrator front, I mean, people like Peter Brown, Chris Ware, Emily Hughes. Uh, there's just a ton of people on here. I'm sure uh, you can find somebody on here that you're either currently inspired by or will be afterwards. <laughs> so uh, the book itself is is these, uh, the Fawn Brothers, oh, so good, is a collection of these letters and it's followed by an illustration off to the side of it. And one of the reasons that I really like this book is because in looking at the diversity of perspectives and points of view, um, this is really about creative voice or visual voice. So not only do the letters themselves have a different voice, um, this is from Daniel Handler, who is a Lemony Snicket, and this is the illustration that went along with that. Um, so the letters have a voice, and then look at this wide range of different illustrations that we see in here. And I find great hope in this because in this wide range of illustrations and this diversity of ways of making images, I believe that there is space enough in there for all of us. There's space enough in there for you as well. So it's important to find out what your visual voice is and be able to start to build your work accordingly. Um, so that's pretty much what I wanted to offer with today. And I want to thank you for watching this far into the video. Uh, leave a comment below. Uh, is there information that you'd like to find out more about, uh, have me expand on? Are there topics you'd like to hear me talk about in these little video essays? Um, I'm happy to have a conversation with you. Please leave a comment below, like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, actually, I think probably the, the more valuable thing would be to share it with somebody. If you know somebody who's interested in books or illustration or art or creativity in general, um, and they might have, find benefit in this, as I hope you have as well. So thanks again for your time, and we'll see you next time.